Good morning guys. It's a beautiful day here in Karamea on the west coast of the South Island. Absolutely stunning weather. Today I'm hiking the Fenyan track, heading to Sunshine Flat Shelter where I'm going to be camping the night there. Uh, along the way here I'll probably stop in and check out the Fenyan Caves loop. There's three caves and a little loop that you can check out, so that'd be kind of neat to neat to see. And yeah, then tomorrow I'm probably going to go up to the Operara Arches, check those out, and then hike back down here. Yeah, it's going to be a good trip. got a relatively light load out today basically just what I need to be comfortable and yeah nothing else the total length of this track is 14 kilometers that's from where I started to the Open River Arches car park. Um, the Sunshine Flat Shelter is 9.5 kilometers along this track, and there's another four and a half to the Arches car park. And I think the Caves Loop along here is another 1.5 kilometers as well. So yeah, not a lot of elevation change either along this track. I don't think. Just going to be a pretty nice, relaxing walk through the bush. Nice wee bit of bush tucker there. Young supple jack shoot. All right, so I came from there. We're here at this sign. Caves are down there, and that's also where I want to go. But I'm gonna head down here first to go to the caves. It says an hour. Just kidding, the cave route rejoins the main track. So yeah, we'll head down here and we won't need to come back. Alright, so this is the first cave. This is the miner's cave. All the stalactites are crazy. There's a stream running through it, which is generally our cave form. Right. Yeah, so this is just like the big cavern. Sorry about the lines, I don't know why my head torch does that. It's really annoying. Now that's cool. All right, that's one done, let's go find the others. I think there's two more. I think they can both be exited. 
Just left my pack up here. Second tunnel and it looks like I'm taking my pack through it. Hopefully it doesn't get too tight. And we go. Alright, uh, it's getting a bit tough with the pack on and the crowd quite a bit. Oh. Oh. Really should have brought my GoPro. Head mount would have been a lot better. Alright, exit is down there. That's where we came from. That guy's huge. That's my hand. That's the spider. That thing is huge. Oh my god. It's gonna get pretty. Ooh, tight here, I'm going to have to crouch down quite a bit. There's the exit. Oh, sunnies, oh damn it. Alright, and we're out. That was got to be the biggest spider I've ever seen. I don't know if I did it justice on the camera, but yeah, that thing with like its legs out, it's probably the size of my hand, almost. You know, I just dropped my sunglasses and the lens came out. That's all good. I think this is the last cave, so let's go check it out. I've just dropped my pack there. Yo, this is pretty cool. I don't know where this goes. Oh, it ends here, I think. Yeah, so, pretty much ends. Might go down there. No. Alright. Turn around and go back. Alright, that was pretty cool. Done all three caves. Heading back to the main track now, just completing the loop of this little cave walk. So it turns out this is the main third cave. I just came across it. So we'll go check it out. Yeah, so the water is not very low. We've had quite a bit of rain recently, so I'm not gonna bother trying to do the through route. But yeah, just another cave. Back on the main track, we're going this way.
Right, so I've come to a crossroads. Up there is Adams Flat. And then through here is Sunshine Flat Shelter. 5.5 kilometers away. And we just did four. Plus the 1.5, the cave loopers, I think. Something like that. Anyway, I'm going to hike this for a bit. Stop and have lunch. And then we'll continue on to Sunshine Flat Shelter. That's the plan. Let's do it. That's a pretty cool tribute to Norman. Yeah, no, I really need to come across that. Alright, so I did stop and have a quick drink break, and I also dropped a layer, because I was uh, warming up a bit. But, I was going to stop and have lunch, sorry, I was going to stop and have lunch sometime before I got to Sunshine Flat, but I think I'm just going to smash on over there. And uh, yeah, I'm not really hungry right now, so don't really feel like lunch, and I'll have something to eat when I get there. But yeah, just... Real nice. This is a really nice, uh, gentle, gentle path. Wide, it's open, it's pretty flat. A little bit of uphill, but hardly any. And yeah, it's, it's a nice change. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah. Haven't seen anyone though. I did see someone at the start. But apart from that, I haven't seen anyone. Alright, just past the Sunshine Flat Shelter sign, so I'm expecting it to be around the corner any, any second now. Okay, this is a neat little shelter. I can cook under here. There's a couple of benches and stuff. There's tank water and there's a toilet back there. And uh, there's a nice, there's a nice area to pitch my tent. So yeah, it's a neat little place. Currently got it all to myself. This is pretty cool. All these are dates, obviously, of the growth of the tree or something. So like, 14, oh, focus. 1478, first cricket. Michelangelo begins work on the Sistine Chapel. The Great Piracy. First Telescope. Abel Tasman sites New Zealand. Lions become extinct extinct in Libya. World population 79 million. Captain Cook sites the East Coast. Treaty of Waitangi. Karamea settled. World War II ends. 
Bush Wren went extinct. Um, wow, that was World War One ends. And Hillary and Tenzin conquer Everest. And some tree is blown down in a winter storm. <laughs> that one snapped off. This would be such an awesome experience. Five days at Sunshine Flat and then out to Karamea for the weekends. They camp here, they co as working on the tracks. Oh, it's a pretty nice seat. Yeah, I'll definitely use this for cooking. Nice and open, got a bench here, it's pretty neat. It's just past two o'clock now, so from the junction it took me an hour. So half of what dock times, and I was including filming and stuff, but I was trying to set a pretty fast pace just because, you know, the track's a bit easier, so I thought I'd just real, you know, try and um, set a good pace. I was, I was stopping and taking in the scenery as well, but yeah, it was nice. Peanut butter sandwich for lunch. Cheers. It says here that they used three tons of blood and bone to spread on and around the track to bind the f bind to the finds and encourage vegetation growth. Interesting. There's heaps of bird life around. So on my Mount Glasgow trip video, someone asked what that bird was, and I'm pretty sure it's this one here, a robin. Yeah. When you stop moving, it cools down real quick. Especially if you've sweated a little bit. So I'm just going to chuck this later on. And should be good enough for now. Probably gonna get pretty cold tonight, but I've got a couple more layers. I've got my thermals and puff jacket as well, so we should be all good. Man, the bird life is crazy. So cool to sit here all them. So I'm thinking I'm going to set up my tent and then just go for a little hike. Um, I could go... Hello? It's a robin. Hello, mate. That's cool, I got a friend. Got a little robin. I think he's looking for any crumbs I dropped. Hey mate. Oh, there's a peanut down here. Peanut! Do you want it? There you go. See you later. No, I'm going to go for a bit of a walk, so I'm going to tent it up and, yeah, head down. I think there's the river. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to head down the track to the Operara River. It's the river that's been, we've been coming across every now and again, but, um, yeah, I think it opens up down there. So, I'll go check it out. Eureka Midori 1.
Getting all set up now, guys. It's a pretty good pitch. The area is nice and flat for once. And uh, yeah, just gonna get the last of my sleeping gear in there, sleeping pad, and let my um, sleeping bag loft up a bit. And then I shall go for a walk. Alright, camp's all set up, so I'm going to go for a walk, see if I can get near the river. I have my canteen and water filter with me, because I will fill up there if I can get close to the water. There is a tank of water here. Um, it does say hand washing only, but I do have my water filter, so if I can't get water from the river, it will be perfectly fine for me to just filter it from the tank. Okay, so this stream here isn't the Aparara River. Uh, this branches off into it. The river's over there somewhere. But I think I can just fill up down there. Hello, Mr. Wicker. What are you doing? Hey, you cheeky bugger. All right, it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to get dinner on the go here. Bird life is so cool. There's heaps of it around here. Don't think I've ever quite heard so much bird life. 
I love being out. Yeah. Got a simple meal of just noodles tonight, guys. Rice noodles. And yeah. Cheers. On this panel here, with all the information and stuff on, it says the Kiwi, they quite commonly herd it in camp during night, or herd it, you know, in the bush, around camp, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got no idea what a Kiwi sounds like, but, <laughs> kind of weird, considering we keep, anyway, anyway, so yeah, I'll listen out, and if I hear anything unusual, it might be a Kiwi, I don't know. Alright, so I've just chucked my pack up on this seat and thrown the pack cover over it just to keep it from getting damp if it does. And yeah, it's time to go to bed. Alright, oh. let's get this up there, time to chuck on some fresh socks. Alright guys, I'm in my sleeping bag, I'll see you in the morning, good night. Is that a kiwi? Uh, morning guys. It's currently just after 7. It's a little bit chilly but I'm going to get up and start the day. It's not quite light outside but it's going to gonna start brightening up soon. So I'm going to get up and get some breakfast. Mixing it up for breakfast this morning. I've got oats, but with brown sugar this time, not not my coffee. So yeah, really, really changing it up. It's quite revolutionary. Cheers guys. Mm. Alright, so we're all packed up. I've just got these things here. What I'm going to take with me to walk to the arches. I'm going to leave my pack here. But I'm going to go throw it in the bush somewhere. Just in case other people come walking around. And yeah, so I'd rather not leave it out in the open. because Probably not the best idea. Anyway, I'm going to go hide it now. All right, and we're off. Got 4.5 kilometers from here to the arches, or maybe a little bit more, because I'm gonna do the Miratan loop track as well. And check out the Moria gate as well. So a couple of things to check out, but they're all in nearby vicinity, so it should be all good. Beauty day.
still a bit of a chill in the air so I've got a couple of layers on but I can strip them off as I warm up and I'm going to fill up my water filter where I did last night on the way here now. Sun's starting to hit the bush now. Not quite on the track though. Alright, so we've just come from Sunshine Flat Shelter, which is 3.3 k's. And now, we go to the Operara Car Park, where I can go to the Operara Arches. So, I'm going to take the one hour loop this way. This way. Because um, that's the Muratan track down here or is that just straight takes me straight to the car park so yeah we're gonna add about an extra k on 1.3 kilometers but yeah it'll be good every part of my body is warming up except my hands even my toes aren't cold <sighs> it is chilly though good thing i'm moving all right might as well stop and see this moria gate arch A little bit of frost, did get a bit chilly last night. Here's the Muratan. Guess you can see why they call it the Muratan. It's pretty cool. Just come out onto the river bank here because it's sunny and my hands are just killing me honestly everywhere else every part of my body is warm except my hands on the track to the arches now and there's nobody else in the car park so it looks like i have them all to myself just the way I like it. I think this color of the water is all the beech tree tannin. I think that's what makes it that color. Don't think it's bad for you. Stairs. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Quick break and we'll get back to it. All right, back on the track. I've just done about seven kilometers this morning to the arches. And now we've got 14 back to the car. And I'll call in at Sunshine Flat to grab my pack. Yeah, it's a beauty day. I keep saying that, but man, this is a gorgeous day for hiking. My uh, hands have warmed up a bit finally, so fingers aren't cold, which is good. Alright, so I've just branched off the main track briefly to come and check this out. Yo, this quiz looks pretty sick.
This is pretty cool. <whistles> Hello. A little bit of an echo. All right, well, that was worth the detour. Just grab my water filter. All right, let's head back to the main track and get going. This is neat, and the pavers, they've got bird's feet. Choice. Alright, so that's another four and a half kilometers done. Now I've just got nine and a half to the car park. Feeling pretty good. I'm a little bit hungry though. I only had my oats and some peanuts today. So definitely looking forward to some lunch when I when I finish. But yeah, nah, really enjoying this walk. It's really nice. More than halfway now, got 4k's to go, getting hungrier. Well, that's the end. Time is 1.30. I left Sunshine Flat this morning at about 8.40ish. So it's taking me just under five hours, which is pretty good considering that includes filming, sightseeing, breaks, and everything else. And uh, yeah, I think it was just over 21 kilometers and did about 11 yesterday. So pretty good, really happy. And it was a great trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.